what is up you guys it's irma she's back <laughs> anyways she is back guys better than ever not really point of this video is just you know a day in the life of irma <laughs> I don't know. Basically, this is just gonna be, I guess, like a vlog or like a, what I do in the day, taking care of my best friend's house since Alan and Danny. Um, they are out of town. They want to go see Gretel's baby. So congrats to Gretel. I am so happy for Gretel. Like, you don't even know. Like, oh my gosh. I am so happy for them. Like, the baby looks so fucking cute. But anyways, so I am basically house-sitting. I'm taking care of the dogs. I'm taking care of the house. Make sure everything is good. You know what I mean? So I literally just woke up not too long ago. Honestly, I've been on the fucking bed for like a good while. I woke up at 7. 20 and i have been laying down here since then i have not tried to go back to sleep i just once i wake up i wake up anyways guys so i'm gonna start rolling out of bed um i'm gonna fucking brush my teeth get a little red wee get the dogs out whatever and then probably go get myself a little coffee but we will see how that goes and then of course a little wake and bake <laughs> I'm changed, face is cleansed, hair is tied and up. I was thinking of showering this morning, but then I remember I still need to take out the dogs, I still need to take care of some stuff around the house, and I'm no longer going to be sweating and hot, so I'd rather finish those things, and then I could go shower and feel fresh and clean and just relax. But of course, once I continue on with everything, let me go smoke. Okay, we're transition. I totally forgot to film, but I just took off the dogs um, to make sure that they pooped and they peed. Put food for the dogs, but they weren't really eating. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get myself a fucking coffee um, and then I'll come back and, you know, give them something to eat so they could eat with me. You know what I mean? So yeah, so right now I'm gonna go get coffee. Um, I was gonna get Starbucks but the line is fucking long one and honestly i found a really good place where they have amazing fucking coffee hurry the fuck up if you're gonna fucking go dumbass exactly so i found this spot i introduced it to danny and it's so fucking good i fucking love this spot so much because her coffee is actually pretty fucking dank but other than that let me go get that coffee real quick and i'll see you guys in a little bit oh so i came to rouse because we needed fucking paper rolls and this nice ass fucking lady had the nerve to pay for my shit because I was lit I only literally had one item and everybody in our self checkout literally had all this shit full of fucking groceries and I guess she saw how impatient I was getting I guess you could say and she was like ma'am ma'am and I wasn't thinking that she was talking to me because I'm like me a ma'am I guess uh. but 
I was like, oh yeah, what's up? And she was like, are you just paying for that? And I'm like, yeah. And she was like, here, give it to me. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, give it to me. I'm gonna pay for it. And I was like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, like, don't worry about it. Like, you only have one item, like, you're good. And I was like, okay, like, shit, I guess. <laughs> I saved myself about like $4 right there. Um, but yeah, dude, like, she was really nice about it. And like, at first it wasn't scanning or anything, you know what I mean? And I was like, it's, ah. I was like, ah, it's not meant to be. She's like, no, this is gonna be my good deed. I wanna do this for you, do not worry about it. And yeah, eventually it scanned out and she was like, okay, you're good to go. And I was like, girl, say less. Virginia, llegué a la casa, the dogs are out, they're drinking water, they're eating. And guess what? Now it's my turn to wake up and eat. So as I said, I got some coffee. I always forget why I don't get the large ones because I never tend to finish them. So let's see if I actually finish them today uh, before I had to work. But this gives me the fucking shits. Like this coffee is really good. One thing that I did want to show you guys is these. If you guys don't know what these are, these are basically bolillo filled with, I don't know if it's requesón or cream cheese with jalapeño pieces in it. And girl, chef's fucking kiss. These are so fucking bomb. No joke, I probably got like four of these just because I knew that, just because I was just obsessed with these. I just love these so fucking much. I could literally eat these all fucking day. They're so fucking bomb. I don't think I'm gonna heat it up because I had it in the fridge, um, but I don't know. I'm probably gonna look it up to see if I could heat it up. I don't know if it'll taste better, but these are so fucking bomb. If you guys don't know what these are, go to your local Norgate. That's where I usually always find them. I honestly remember these being a dollar, but I think they just recently increased the price to like a dollar fifty or two dollars. So I'm not fully sure, but honestly, from what I spent yesterday when I went to Norgate, because since I'm in house sitting up price, I want some food in this house because they don't have anything. <laughs> they only have fucking hot dogs in the fridge and tater tots. So I was like, okay, let me make myself a hot dog. And you know, there was one thing I have been mention wanting to mention to you guys. There's one thing, one, well, a few things. One, I don't live with Alan. I do not live with him. I do not live with him. I do not live with him. I'm just here constantly. I'm just here 24 fucking seven. Like I'm literally like, when I wake up back at my house, when I wake up, I'm already getting ready and showering to either go to work or to come here. Like that's literally nothing like unusual, you know? Like they're just expecting me to come here. And, they're, if, and, and even if I don't come, they will text me like, bitch, where the fuck are you at? And I'm like, I'm home. And they're like, why aren't you here? And so it's kind of like, <laughs> we're just so used to me being here. They're used to me being here. I always ask them like, bitch, don't you get bothered that I'm here? Like, don't you guys want to have your you time or something like that? You know what I mean? They're like, no, bitch, we want you here for a reason because we want you here. And I'm like, okay. But you know, it's funny. My mom even tells me, she's like, mija, ¿por qué andas yendo ya todos los días? Like, no los enfadas like don't you annoy them and i'm like do you want to talk to them like because i've asked them and they said that they're okay with it that they don't mind me going over or anything so like you're making assumptions mama i'm sorry you know and it's only because she's so used to you know what i'll take that back it's not her fault that i'm not home it's just that ever since i was a kid ever since i was in high school i was never at the house I was always out with friends. I was never really like drinking or anything until I was like probably a junior or senior year. But honestly, like I was never a crazy kid. All I wanted to do was just go hang out with my friends and that's pretty much it. Like we wouldn't do any like drugs or alcohol when, you know, I was smaller. There was the thing, of course, a phase where <laughs> I had like a One Direction fan phase. And I guess that's what caused me to be such a jacalera because I would want to go to LA constantly to try to find all these fucking like um, influencers at the time or like these big YouTube stars or these like big, um, you know, people at the time. This was back in like, I would say when I was a freshman, 14, 15, 2012, 2013, that was like my big fanboy, like big, like 
oh my gosh obsessed like how you guys are obsessed with influencers and youtubers that was my phase towards boy bands or even tambien with youtubers i used to go to vidcon a lot i used to love going that i remember meeting fucking manny mua patrick star fucking um just a lot of people honestly um i don't remember most of the names because i don't know i can't think we're straight right now but it's the yeah literally it's crazy because like but yeah that's the reason why see see i always go to one story to the other so the point is to that story is that i've always been a jacalera so my mom whenever i go out she's like bitch you better be home and i'm like i'm not gonna be home mama i'm sorry like i have a life i have stuff to do you know what i mean i have content to give you guys <laughs> oh my god i'm just being exaggerated but anyways but yeah so i don't live with a line um i'm just always here my parents always tell me like don't you annoy them and i'm like no they even tell me they always expect me to be there and all that stuff and i always do them a favor to take care of the dogs take care of the house so i guess that's one thing i wanted to address i don't live with a <laughs> i guess that was my whole point but it was my whole point of saying that i don't live with a lot <laughs> I don't know how many stories I took you guys into, but anyways, that was point number one. And point number two, I'm not vegetarian anymore. I'm not vegan or anything of that sort. People keep thinking and people keep commenting, aren't you vegan? Aren't you vegetarian? And I'm like, no, I haven't been for about like two, three years probably. Like it's been a really long time. I don't know how you guys don't get the hint. Like Alana is always fucking recording me eating meat and shit. Like, wouldn't you guys already think like, oh, she's eating meat. Oh, she's not vegetarian or vegan anymore. Like instead of saying, isn't she vegan? Isn't she vegetarian? Yeah, I am not vegan or vegetarian anymore i love my fucking meat there is one thing that i have not eaten though only because it's a texture thing and it's just a taste like just thinking about it kind of gets kind of gets me asqueada <laughs> like i'm already kind of like Ooh. but um it's egg i have it oh my gosh it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth <laughs> i just haven't tried it again because I don't know, like, no me da, like, atención. But I will say, I mentioned this to my coworker the other day. You know what sounds really fucking good? And I actually think I mentioned this to Alan too. Fucking hot dog con huevo. That has been on my mind for so long. Because I remember as a kid, huevo has been a staple ever since as a kid. Like, my parents didn't grow up the wealthiest or anything. Um, we've had a lot of financial issues. So, of course, we try to get what we can. My mom and dad feeding a fucking family of five or four at the time. Anything helped. Any kind of food to survive for the week, we will eat no matter what. The one thing that I did hate, not hate, but like I got used to eating as a kid was huevo con hot dog, huevo con jamón, huevo con salchicha, huevo con like huevo, whatever. Anything huevo is included. Only because I think huevo, like egg was really cheap, I guess. Um, so that was like our staple meal. So it just brought me back like those memories. Like, ooh, I remember how good huevo and hot dog like literally tasted, you know, in a little like burrito or just a si con tortilla, you know what I mean? Or just in the, like in a little sandwich, you know what I mean? And another thing that I was really obsessed with was bologna, bologna. I love bologna as a fucking kid as well. The only thing is that my parents wouldn't get it often only because it was expensive. I even saw the prices right now at the fucking store and I was like, no wonder my parents didn't get it. You know what I mean? So whatever it is. Anyways, point is I'm not vegetarian anymore. I love fucking meat now. Like if I could go back to vegetarian, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, I would just watch more of what I'm eating. Of course, right now what I'm eating is not the greatest for breakfast. Yeah, those are my points. My two points. I don't live with a lamb and I am not vegetarian or vegan anymore. More. This is Ralph. This is Danny's baby. He loves being carried, guys. Whenever we, me or Alan or Danny are sitting here, he always just like puts his paws up standing and he's like, carry me, carry me. And we're like, okay. And yeah, he just loves to be carried. So I'm gonna go smoke a bowl because, bitch, I wanna get faded before I go to work. I go to work at 4 30. So I'll see you guys when I'm a little lit and we'll see what I'm doing by then. Who knows? What is up, you guys? So look at me. I showered. I have my eyebrows done. I am getting ready for work. Kind of chilling, vibing, 
doing my makeup here while I'm taking care of the dogs, but I took them out outside because they were getting a little prancy. So yeah, they ended up peeing, so that's good. As you can see, my eyebrows are done. I low-key need to kind of like hurry because I go in at 4.30 and it's like 3.15. So I still need to do the rest of my face and change. And usually it's about 20, 25 minutes away uh, from work and I still need a kind of a gas. I totally forgot, I kind of just remembered. Oh well. Well anyways, um, I already ate and everything, so I don't know if I'm gonna do like a time lapse with my makeup, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay guys, so I totally forgot to vlog my day. I am here at work now. It's literally about like to close. It's almost eight. When I said I was gonna get ready with for work, I was running late. I was literally in a rush, but look at how my makeup looks. I need to retouch my lipstick, but I don't wanna do it with that right now. Actually, let's do that. But yeah, so I was just running late for work, um, but I made it like at 4.33. I go in at 4.30. And honestly, it was a really fast shift. After work for sure though, I am gonna go pick up. Um, I'm gonna place the order and I also need to put gas. I totally forgot to put fucking gas before I came to work. I still made it, of course, whatever. Um, but tell me if you're this type of person that leaves their gas literally till the last one to basically put gas, bro. Like, what the fuck? And this is not a check engine or anything. This is just my backout light. Once I go put in gas, I go pick up. Gonna go to the house to go house sit, of course. Take out the dogs, chill for a little bit, and eat some snacks. Eat something. I don't know what I'm gonna eat, actually. Huh. I really want some pasta. But we'll see what I have right there at the house. Or maybe... See, I'm here fucking complaining about my weight. You guys always hear me. I'm always complaining about my fucking weight, but yet I don't do anything about it. I'm always fucking eating. I'm always like, uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna complain. That's my fault. I'll see you guys in a little bit. It is the end of the day. I am here at the house finally. I took off my makeup. I changed. I wanted to be something comfy. I have the Big Bang Theory on right now. Y por fin, a tomar. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I am so tired from today. Oh, I didn't even do anything. What the fuck am I talking about? I didn't really do shit, but I'm just over the day. I'm over work. So I was very overworked today. I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here, to be honest, or the day that I do here. The day in my life of taking care of my best friend's house. <laughs> um yeah so i literally just cleaned up a little bit i'm about to make something to eat right now while i'm drinking i'm probably gonna smoke too get a little cross but yeah so cheers that just gave me tingles ah. <laughs> i'm gonna end up cooking is some elotes i don't do you guys want to see that do you guys really want to see that well it depends just in case if i do end it here thank you for watching leave a like comment subscribe turn on your notifications to see whenever i upload but other than that i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i will see you guys for the next one if not i'll see you guys when i do the little bit <laughs> but yeah toodles